Now, Lucy, I know we had um, uh, have issues about this or had them maybe in the no, past. No, we have them in the past. I agree with you 100% now. Cheese and red wine, yeah. right? It's not just me who feels that red wine is not always the best. In fact, it's usually a bad choice. The great Robert Parker uh, feels the same thing. It's not because the wine destroys the cheese so much as the cheese really interfering with the wine. We want to pay attention to subtleties in wine and you put something that's made of milk fat together with red wine and it, it just doesn't work. There's not enough acidity there in the red wine for the most part to work with most cheeses. I always thought that they the concept of the red wine with cheese was, well, I drank red wine with dinner, and therefore we'll just carry it on through the cheese course, which is, I think, what most people do. In general terms, uh, when it comes to red wines and white wines with cheese, here's how I think about it. Sure. If it's a light cheese, a goat cheese, something young, uh, Sauvignon Blanc, brilliant. Sancerre, made of Sauvignon Blanc, fantastic. And if it's a blue cheese, a sweet wine, believe it or not, say a sweet uh, Sauterne, a white wine, sweet Vouvray, even a nice wine with a blue cheese is fabulous. Uh, makes that saltiness, sort of brings it down a little bit. Fabulous. And if it's a really hard cheese, say a Parmesan, I love things like, uh, well, Italian wines. Barolo and uh, Amarone in particular. Yeah. That's the one time you do drink red. <laughs> it is.